Yeah. Here we go with the Hollywood Hot Seat, brought to you by Carpet One, Coleman Street, Belleville, the one store for your perfect floor. Although Hannah Montana made his daughter Miley a star and brought him out of the one-hit wonder obscurity, Billy Ray Cyrus is blaming the series for the trouble his family is going through. Cyrus tells GQ magazine that the show brought on his divorce and it sent Miley and her bong spinning out of control. Billy Ray says in the interview he tried too hard to be a friend to her and instead of being a parent. He says he's scared for Miley and compares her current path to those other stars whose lives ended tragically like Kurt Cobain, Anna Nicole Smith and Michael Jackson. Billy Ray says he didn't know the ball was out of bounds until it was way up in the stand somewhere. And he says he thinks Satan is attacking his family, even though to protect themselves, they were all baptized before leaving Tennessee for Los Angeles. Wow. Rambling. Yeah. Speaking of troubled stars, Lindsay Lohan will present David Letterman's top ten list tomorrow. It'll be by satellite from Los Angeles. It'll be her fifth appearance on Letterman. Her last time was in May 2007. She's been the subject of plenty of jokes on the late night shows. The latest are about the felony charges for allegedly stealing a necklace from a jewelry store. A Los Angeles lawyer has been handed control of veteran actor Mickey Rooney's affairs after allegations that the Hollywood legend was being bullied by a stepson and feared being kidnapped. 52-year-old Christopher Aber was ordered to stay at least 100 yards away from Mickey Rooney, who's 90 now, and from his Los Angeles area home. Aber is the son of Rooney's eighth wife, Jan. According to court papers, he's a regular but unannounced visitor to Mickey Rooney's home, and the actor hides in his room to avoid his stepson. He's effectively a prisoner in his home. Court documents also say that Aber has blocked Mickey's access to his mail and will not provide him with any information about his finances other than to tell him he's broke and that uh, he's deprived him of medications, food, and confiscated his passport and other identification cards. Sad. El DeBarge is back in rehab. He's issued a statement saying he's done so voluntarily to deal with issues from many years of substance abuse. All his personal appearances have been postponed. His second chance album came out last year, and it was his first in 16 years. It was considered his comeback after years of drug problems and jail times. Here's the latest with Elizabeth Taylor, who's been in hospital for congestive heart failure for about a week. Her spokesperson says there's been steady improvement in her condition, and she says Taylor's medical team is gratified by her progress to date, and it's hoped and expected this will continue over the next few days. And Slash is unloading some stuff. Julian's Auctions will auction Slash's personal items, including the guitar, top hat, and shoes he wore for the Super Bowl halftime show with the Black Eyed Peas. Well, he wasted no time getting rid of that stuff. Well, he's got no place to keep them. And police in New Delhi have pulled the plug on a Brian Adams concert just hours before he was to take the stage. Police say they refused to give permission for the show, but did not give details. The Indian Express newspaper reports organizers oversold the show. And Brian Adams tweets it was a public safety issue, and he apologizes. That's the Hollywood Hot Seat, brought to you by Carpet One and Quinty's Greatest Hits, 95.5 Hits FM.